During this lesson, we're going to look at applications of multiplication division of fractions. Now, let's take a look at the first sample application problem. How many one-fourth pound hamburgers can be made from five pounds of meat? To solve this problem, we will use a division problem. Division, we would use five divided by one-fourth. I have five pounds of meat divided by one-fourth pound for each burger. Because this is a division problem with the whole number and a fraction, we're going to take the whole number and put it over one. Once we put the whole number over one, we will rewrite our division sign and rewrite one-fourth. You never want to divide a whole number divided by a fraction. You want to have two fractions at all times when you're doing division of fractions. Next, because it's a division of fractions, you want to change it to multiplication. We keep the first fraction the same, change our division sign to multiplication, and change one-fourth to its reciprocal. The reciprocal of any fraction is when you flip the fraction. So the reciprocal of one-fourth would be four over one. Once we find the reciprocal of four of one-fourth, which is four over one, we can now multiply straight across. 5 times 4 is 20, and 1 times 1 is 1. 20 divided by 1 is 20. So, therefore, we know that 5 pounds of meat will give us 20 hamburgers. Now, let's look at our next sample application problem. Of the students in a mathematics class, two-thirds of them passed the course. Of those who passed, one-eighth received A's. What part of the class received A's? When solving this problem, we want to find out how many students actually received A's in the course. We know that overall, two-thirds of the students passed the course, and one-eighth received A's. Now we want to solve this problem by using multiplication of fractions. Two-thirds of the class passed the course times one-eighth of the class that received A's. We want to multiply this fraction by multiplying straight across. Before we can multiply straight across, we want to find out if there are any common factors. Eight and two have a common factor of two. Therefore, we want to simplify by dividing both eight and two by two. Eight divided by two gives us four. Two divided by two gives us one. Now we can multiply straight across. One times one is one. Three times four is 12. So we now know that one twelfth of the class received A's. Now that we have solved some sample problems on multiplication division of fractions, at this time, try some on your own.